Hadn't done this in a while. Steak and cheese. Come on. Morning, everybody. Jason, PJ, Hollis Farms. I normally keep drinks and my breakfast stuff in my truck where I don't have to go get a biscuit and I was out. So that's why I ended up getting a biscuit this morning. I don't need to do that every morning. Sure was good though. Anyway, I'm having just a little bit of issues with the camera at the hog trap. It, it was doing good in the daytime. There's something going on with the night vision part of it. I'm not sure the light, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, I'll, uh, when I can, I'm gonna call the guys at Big Pig and let them log in and, and try to figure out what's going on. I plan, I plan to move and start cutting the pulpwood. May halt for a little bit. We planned on having two skidders down here. It's gonna be two skidders, two loaders, and we're gonna alternate the cutter back and forth. But the skidder that they thought could get fixed yesterday couldn't get done. So anyway. Looks like we're going to be waiting on the skitter to get fixed before we go through with that plan, possibly. This stuff just seems to change hourly instead of daily. But anyway, uh, they're, so they're going to be off probably, let's see, two more days after today, and then they'll be back unless something changes. So. Anyway, me and PJ's on 5101. I'm going to go work on a road that I know has done got out of hand. Probably just do it one. Maybe, I might get it twice. We're going to get back here and look at it and see how bad it is. I know it's the grass cutting. It's going to slow down a little bit. I'm about, just about caught up finally on all that. I'm about taking me probably, I was thinking about the other day, it takes me about twice as long to do it because I've been going about half the speed staying on the tractor about half the time because of my back but I, I haven't been on it the last couple of days and I tell you it, it, uh, a lot of healing goes on when I stay off these tractors so uh, about caught up but in about another four weeks probably four yeah somewhere around four weeks it will uh, be almost time to spray again one more time to spray and then the tractor's just gonna get crunk up again. Say they get crunk up again, I have to. I have to be thinking about that. Now y'all know I wanna push hog all my fields last minute. That way they're short. Don't have any growing time between the last time we cut them in turkey season. So get our spraying done out of the way. Probably be about, about three to four weeks from now. And then we'll Heck along, then we'll have, have to do a little planting. I'm not sure how much planting I'm going to do. Or I know I'm going to be planting the fire lanes. It's kind of depending on how the clover and all looks. Right, so this is not too bad take too long, about a pass and a half. There was a lot of briars and stuff out there. I'm hoping to get down in here and thin this year. Trees are getting big and it's time, but boy, it has managed to hold on. Still getting quite a bit of daylight to the ground. But we don't want to let it get past it. See a couple of dead ones out there. Just saw it flopping. I got him with the bush hog when I come by, like an old cotton mouth or something.
little bit narrower down through here than it was back there for a while ago. All that looks, <coughs> excuse me, all that looks really good out there, but it's starting to get to be a little more hardwood competition out there than I want the gum trees and stuff. It really needs a fire run through there to kind of freshen everything up. All right, y'all, let's get to today's Bible verse in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 7. The word is happiness. Go then, eat your bread in happiness, and drink your wine with a cheerful heart, for God has already approved your works. Alright y'all, so I made it back to the house. I was doing some feeding the other day and noticed that I had a uh, spinner broke off one of the feeders, so got me a uh, Phillips head and a flat head to pop it off and a couple of bags of corn. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. It always, if it breaks, it's gonna break right around there. Wear and tear, and if something happens to be in the in the corn, to stop it up, it will snap it off. All right, I'm gonna have to lower it down. I'm gonna need two hands. I gotta lower it down to put the new spinner on it. All right, got the new one on this tester. Oh, yeah. Ready to roll. All right, so I decided to take my time before this trash I burn gets out of hand. It was just sprinkling, boy, storming all around us so i think i'm gonna catch up on this before it gets out of hand again all right last couple bags that wasn't too bad since i uh didn't let it go this time right better we ain't about to blow it all the way though <laughs> Bite my leg. Alright y'all, we got a storm brewing. It is pouring right down there about 200 yards. I'm gonna stand right here and see if it's coming. It might go around most of it right here, but I think it rained again over in Mississippi. We'll have to check that out tomorrow. Fire's about to go out over there. We could use a little rain right here. We've been missing it. Sell a little dust. Be nice. It'll probably be here in just a second. All right, y'all, just another day on the farm. Looks like we may dodge this storm right here. It may get the edge of us just a little bit, but anyway, got a little grass cutting done this morning. Me and PJ rode around, checked on some feeders and this and that. Starting to dry up, but I'm pretty sure by the radar it rained down there again, but it didn't last too long, but it'll need some, it'll need some sunshine on it to dry it up, but we got, Two more days before the loggers come back, so it may have worked out good that their skitter didn't get going to uh, move to that little stand uh, first thinning because it might have been too wet anyway. But anyway, we uh, come back here and got a feeder fixed, had both the dogs out today, did some burning, got that caught up on them sacks and all, but just... Uh, like I said, just a day on the farm, nothing too exciting. I guess the most exciting thing about today was that steak and cheese this morning. That baby was good. But anyway, I'm going to ease on in here and cool it for a little while. Appreciate y'all watching. I'm out of here.